Welcome to IC3D training video shelf layout templates. IC3D has a unique way of displaying completed packaging products within a realistic shelving and stacking environment. In the template window, select the shelf template and drag it into the 3D view. The default width is 1005 mm. Add the model to the scene. A shelf is displayed in the 3D view with three default labels. Each label can be individually selected in Object Editor for easy editing of the artwork labels. The display interacts with the Shelf Layout window, which is used to add objects to the shelf in the 3D view. To add an object, you must first select the shelf in the 3D view. Select the Add Models icon in the Shelf Layout window, or you can click and drag a model from the Model or Template library. Browse to the IC3 model you wish to add and select Open. The model appears as a single unit on the shelf and is listed in the Shelf Layout window. While in position, this model can be transformed in order to optimize its display. In this case, we're using the Transform Rotate function to rotate the model backwards. This can be done freehand using the gyroscopic guides around the object or by configuring specific angle values in the Transform Rotate window. With the model still selected in the Shelf Layout window, item option fields can be configured to step the model across the shelf. Type in values, or use the arrow keys, to step the number of items across and number of items deep. Additional models can be added to the shelf in order to build up a realistic shelf layout. In this case, we're adding a vodka bottle, which can also be individually stepped and repeated. A can is also added. Where the models are arranged in rows and also stacked high on top of each other using the Item Options field. An array of different shaped packaging products can be added and stacked to complete the display. There are also alternate row options in the Shelf Layout window that allows a user to offset a product row position. Add a can to a new shelf layout and step it across by two and step two deep in item options. Using the arrow keys in the X and Y position fields in the alternate row options moves the objects concentrically depending upon the values being set. This allows models to be staggered across the shelf in artistic ways. There is also a rotate drop down menu, which can be set to specific angles, such as 90 degrees. When the number of items high is selected, the added models will have been rotated 90 degrees. This can be changed as desired using the angle rotate drop down menu to 180 or 270 degrees. When additional items are added to the shelf, the item separation field can be configured to space the additional model apart from the other models on the shelf options. The separation can be adjusted using the arrow keys in the separation field. There are other templates in the library that can be used in a similar way to the shelf layout. The display tray template can also be used to show models inside it. Click and drag the display tray into the 3D view. Dimensions can be configured as required, as well as adding artwork in Illustrator. In this case, we are adding a square vodka bottle by adding an IC3 file using the shelf layout window. This is step and repeated three items across by three items deep. The Set Shelf Width Automatically checkbox is on by default in the Shelf Layout window shelf options. A fourth row can be added across and the display tray automatically adjusts to fit the models.
A palette template can also be used in conjunction with the shelf layout functions. Click and drag the palette into the 3D view. The default setting is 1,219 mm wide. Using the shelf layout, then add an IC3 shipping box, which already has artwork added to it. The box appears on the palette. The shipping box is stepped and repeated to four items across and four items deep. To complete the display, the boxes can be configured to two items high. This completes the IC3D training video shelf layout templates.